Now, it's all well and good rocking a flash set of rims, but if you don't use safe tools and techniques to clean them, that flashiness could quickly turn into unsightly scratches and swirls. So stay tuned to see how I recommend safely cleaning fancy wheels using my own regularly pampered candy red items. Now, I say regularly pampered, but my 20-inch split-spoke examples were looking embarrassingly worse for wear here. However, I know you don't particularly enjoy seeing already clean things being clean, so I thought I'd take advantage of the fact they were so filthy to put this video together. Because the vast majority of wheels are lacquered, just like a vehicle's paintwork, they should generally be treated in a similar manner, so if you want to avoid inflicting unnecessary swirl marks and scratches, for example, then using safe tools and common sense techniques, just like you would on the rest of the car, is the way to go. The first thing you're going to want to do to mitigate damage being done is thoroughly pre-rinse your wheels to remove as much loose dirt as possible and I highly recommend a pressure washer for properly cleaning and maintaining wheels as despite what some scaredy cats might say they provide a more precise, efficient and thorough clean than anything else can but regardless of what you use the aim here is simply to wash away as much potentially abrasive dirt as you can. To help reduce the potential for swirl infliction when making contact, I recommend first foaming your wheels over, ideally with the same shampoo you intend to dunk your wheel brushes or wash mitts in, using either a dedicated foam bottle attached to your pressure washer or a foaming pressure sprayer to provide an extra layer of lubrication which will also help to soften up any remaining dirt, meaning less physical agitation will be required to dislodge and remove it. Once you've prepped your wheel for contact, you'll need to select some tools capable of safely removing any remaining potentially damaging dirt. And there's a few I'd recommend starting with this detail factory brush, which I use to gently access the lug nut areas, as well as the painted calipers and any other parts of the wheel face that might tickle my fancy in the moment. I also like to put a dedicated shampoo primed wheel wash mitt to use on the other more open areas of the wheel face and while all of it could technically be cleaned with either this or the brush, having both soft items to hand is preferable. With the face of the wheel safely cleaned, it's then time to address its backside and I started here with a well-respected wheel woolly, which is probably one of, if not the plushest and safest barrel brushes available. Once saturated in suds then, it's simply a case of gently working it in between the spokes to methodically remove any residual dirt that the pre-clean hadn't. And as with any kind of maintenance cleaning, the aim isn't to aggressively scrub the surface, but just to gently ensure all parts see a bit of contact. Now, because these wheels are an inch larger in diameter than the factory ones, the wheel woolly doesn't have any trouble sliding past the caliper, but it is quite plush, so keep in mind on higher-end cars with bigger brakes, there's a distinct possibility it won't, but to be fair, aside from perhaps an easy detail brush, that goes for most other barrel brushes too. Now, if you don't want to fork out for a genuine wheel woolly, as they are quite pricey, there's plenty of generic Amazon and eBay items available that will do a similar job for a fraction of the cost. Granted, they're not as well constructed and won't last as long as a genuine jobby, but they're still capable of giving your barrels a safe, swirl-free wash, so it might be worth considering if you're on a bit of a budget. Another quality brush worthy of consideration is the Microfiber Madness Incredit brush which has a removable sleeve which can be separately washed in between use and foam in it to retain and dispense fresh suds. 
and while it does a decent enough job at safely cleaning well-maintained wheels, once saturated in soap just feels a tad heavy and clunky in comparison to its woolen competitors, plus it's not very long so can struggle to fully access the barrels of wider wheels, but it's still a good brush that if cared for properly should last for years so is certainly worth keeping in mind. With all areas of the wheel safely washed over, the tyres are worth a mention as despite them being able to take a heavy scrubbing from the stiffest bristled of brushes, if you don't want to risk scuffing or dinking either the outer rim of your wheels or wheel arch then it's worth considering using something safe and soft so that if you get a bit cack handed and start working wide you won't inflict any damage. A traditional soft bristled detail in brush is perfect for this in my mind and while it might not be able to provide the heavy agitation that a stiffer bristled brush can, you can always use it alongside an all purpose cleaner or wheel cleaner to give it a bit more bite than the shampoo I was using here. Once safely cleaned from top to bottom and inside out, you then want to rinse the wheel and if you're following this procedure you'll need to be as thorough as possible as this will be the last dedicated cleaning stage with no more physical dirt removing contact being made so have to ensure there's no lingering suds or diluted muck knocking about before you finish. Following a final rinse it's then time to dry the wheels which can be done with towels but if you're aiming to keep physical contact to a minimum then a blow dryer whether little or large makes perfect sense as it'll allow you to remove all of the rinse water without having to touch and potentially scratch the surface. In terms of regular maintenance cleaning then that's pretty much it. Periodically I'll top up any protection with a suitable booster product just to ensure future dirt doesn't stick which can either be towel applied and subsequently buffed off or even lightly spritzed directly onto the face and barrel so long as it's adequately removed afterwards. If your wheels are relatively scratch and swirl free then I'd recommend using either some brand new general purpose or decent quality used towels that you'd be happy to put to work on the rest of the car as the last thing you want to do is wipe manky downgraded towels over the freshly cleaned and swirl free surface and undo all that precautionary hard work. Now while dressing tyres technically hasn't got anything to do with the safe cleaning of wheels, using an appropriate product that won't sling onto your freshly cleaned rims or serve to attract abrasive dirt particles is still probably worth a mention. So I'd simply recommend a water based dressing applied with either a rim friendly sponge applicator or soft bristle brush to work the product into the textured tyre walls. And then advise buffing back with a towel to remove any excess and prevent them from becoming sticky dirt magnets later down the line.
And that's pretty much that, so to quickly refresh how I'd recommend treating flash and well-kept rims, first give them a thorough pre-rinse, preferably with a pressure washer to remove as much of the loose abrasive dirt as possible. Coat the wheel inside and out with some foam or shampoo to provide a safety barrier against swirls. Use a super soft synthetic detail brush and or dedicated wheel wash mitt to first tend to the spokes and face of the wheel. Then ideally use a high quality wool or microfiber barrel brush to tend to the generally dirtier rear parts of the wheel, periodically washing them out in your bucket of suds. To prevent scuffs and scratches being inflicted on the outer edges of the rim or arch, especially if you have a lower car or low profile tyres, use a traditional soft bristle detail brush to scrub them clean instead of a clunky stiff bristled one. Thoroughly rinse all areas of the wheel one last time to eliminate any cleaning product residue and remain in dirt. Then either blow dry or use filtered water for the final rinse so you can avoid having to make contact with a towel. And finally, periodically top up any protection to discourage dirt from bonding and make future cleaning more slick and less impactful. Now obviously these steps only really apply to wheels that are in good shape to start with as filthy, neglected and deeply ingrained ones are going to require heavy chemicals and the kind of physical agitation that I wouldn't necessarily class as super safe. But if you don't want to potentially inflict swirls by having to do that, then don't let them get to that point to begin with. If you don't own showy rims that you need to pamper to this extent, then hopefully you still appreciated the shots, but you still might need to employ these kinds of tools or techniques at some point in the future, so at least now you know. Either way, cheers for uh, watching me wash my big red rims. Now it's time for you to get out there and give your own a good going over, but not before dropping me a quick like, comment or sub if you haven't already.